Hello everyone and welcome to this, the teaching session for the soprano part for the beautiful Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis in G major by Stanford. Um, this piece is uh, absolutely beautiful. Stanford of course was born in Dublin, trained in Cambridge and in Leipzig and spent much of his career as a very prominent composer of the late 19th, early 20th century. Um, he composed huge amounts of uh, very varied music, including symphonies and operas, but he's probably best known for his contribution to the Anglican church tradition, and he set the Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis several times, this one in G major, I think is the best of all of them, but you may have a different opinion. So we'll be uh, using the PDF, which is linked below in the description, and uh, do make sure you've got a drink of water handy as we go through. We'll start with the Magnificat, then we'll sing it all the way through, and then we'll look at the Nunc Dimittis. Now, I've recorded all the parts of this, with the exception of the soprano solo, uh, so just bear that in mind as you're listening. It's all sung by a man in his late 40s. Uh, that being said, you should be very glad that I didn't attempt to sing the soprano solo at pitch, and instead decided to give it to a, a flute. I think you'll all be uh, glad that I did that as we go. Now, at the start of the Magnificat, it is uh, an, an allegro tempo, obviously, as you can see, and it has a split common time signature. So it has a feel of two and a bye. And it's lovely and joyous and bright. It has a feel of sort of pitter-patter raindrops, perhaps on the floor of a forest somewhere. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little listen to the opening. You can see you don't actually sing um, until bar, where are we, bar 20, uh, bar 26 is your first entry sopranos. Uh, the top line is otherwise taken by the soprano soloist. So let's have the first 25 bars or so, and then we'll jump in with your first entry. Here we go. Here's the solo. Doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Altos turns and bases. Two bars in. Now we can hear that lovely blessed chord there. Now we come in, sopranos. It's a very, very beautiful uh, line there as we sing. Blessed, blessed. And I would always invite you to sing. Well, first of all, it's a very soft dynamic, but it should be sung with a great deal of warmth. So smile as you sing. Blessed, blessed. Okay, let's sing that together. Just bear with me a moment whilst I get the track up here. So we'll go, we'll run into it a little bit, shall we? So here's a bit of the solos. So this is now bar 18, bar 19. From henceforth Now three bars in. Two, one. And blessed, blessed. Excellent. Now the rest of the choir sings, and holy is, and holy is his name. Holy. Now we come in sopranos in bar 37, and it's a very straightforward line. It's almost like a chorale melody here as we sing, Holy is his name. Let's sing that together with the accompaniment. One, two. Holy is his name. We'll do that again, just with the timing a bit better. Let's run into it. So this is bar 33, 34, two bars. And. Now this next section, we've, we've actually modulated, we've moved in harmony from the warm, uh, soothing sounds of G major to the brighter, heavenly sounds of B major. And so the rest of the choir, alto tenor basses sing, and his mercy is on them that fear him. And you can see here, sopranos in bar 43, as soon as the rest of the choir, alto tenor basses sing fear, So we sing uh, one, two, 
One through all generations. Listen to that again after one, two, one through out all generations. And you can see the note on the D sharp there is, is to be sung broadly and expansively into the space. And then generations, the tension on that A sharp leading to the B. Let's sing it with the piano here. Bar 43 after one, two, one. Throughout all generations. Excellent. Let's go back to And His Mercy Is On Them That Fear Him. Uh, where are we in the recording? Is his name. Okay, it's the rest of the choir. And his mercy is on them. And one. Excellent. Shuns is one and a half beats. Shuns. Excellent. Now, he hath showed strength with his arm is sung by the altos tennis basses. Sounds like this. He hath showed strength with his arm. Okay, so we're now back again in B major. And the altos have done you a favour here, sopranos. Okay, they're singing an F sharp, and you can see it's obviously the second line down. The soloist is the top line. He had scattered the proud, ba, 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 much like a trumpet would play. And so we're singing this brassy line in bar 51. It's one. He had scattered the proud. Nice dropped jaw on proud. Sing that for me. And one. He had scattered the proud. Okay, fabulous. He had scattered the proud, and then in the imagination of their hearts. Okay, let's sing that in the imagination. One, two. In the imagination of their hearts. Short note on hearts because we need to carry on. So let's sing that in the imagination. One, two. In the imagination of their hearts. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, now. He hath brought down the mighty from their seat. Again, much like a chorale melody, stretched out, sustained. One, two, one. Okay, he hath put down, there's your note, after one, and once he hath put down the mighty from the seat. Now you see the soprano soloist gives you humble, uh, humble and meek. Okay, gives you your note. You come in ahead of the rest of the choir here uh, in bar 66 and you sing, He hath feared, he hath feared the hungry with good things. So it's effectively going from a high D to a low D with a bit of decorati uh, decorative material in between. Let's sing that together. Keep it soft. And one. He hath filled, he hath filled the hungry with good things. Let's sing into that. Just bear with me a moment. I just need to make a very, very slight change to the track so it works the way I need it to. Just use this opportunity, Sops, to have a quick sip of drink, if you would. Okay, so that should now be as I want it to be. Let me just check it's in the right place. Bear with me a moment. He hath filled. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to run into that. So he hath filled. And one. He hath filled. He hath filled the hungry with good things. Now, on this chord... We need to frown, because we're now going to sing, and the rich. OK, we, we have no more uh, affection for the rich today as they did back then. OK, those who have too much and don't share. So we're going to frown and be stern. And the rich. OK, let's sing that together. And, and the rich. 
And then, up to the D, he had sent empty, empty away. And what I tend to ask you to do is just to just lean off slightly. He had sent empty, empty away. On that first empty. Let's sing that together. He had, uh, he had sent empty. After one, two, one. He had sent empty, empty Excellent. Now, from that A, oops, from that A, there, as you heard, our next note is a B flat. He remembering his mercy. Very much just keeping that pitch nice and clean. Um, but just bear in mind, it should be pianissimo. And there's lots going on underneath this note. He remembering his mercy. So just make sure it's nice and clean. Just check we're in the right place. Lovely. So let's sing. He remembering his mercy with the, the dotted rhythm again, slightly reminiscent of a trumpet. After one, two, one. He remembering his mercy. And then here we get louder because the soloist has stopped for a moment. Hath and his servant Israel. Note the last note of Israel is a bit longer. Let's sing that together. Hath Holpen after one and one. Hath Holpen his servant Israel. Excellent. Now, you've just sung an E flat there, and it's this chord here. Now, taking that note, which the soloist sings, you need to think a semitone lower, and you come in in bar 90 after a bar of absolute silence from the whole ensemble. Okay, so we're basically climbing the mountain. As he promised to, and then our forefathers at the end. Let's just sing that together with the piano from bar 90 sopranos. Ready? And as he promised to our forefathers. Excellent. Now, with the choir, we're going to go back a little bit so we can run into that. Let's have a bit of... Um, he remembering his mercy. We're going to go back to the bottom of page eight. Here we go. So it's the B flat and. He remembering his mercy. Now bring it out. Excellent. Now, up to the C. This is a particularly nice bit. This is bar 97. We sing a long C. Abraham and his seed. One, two, one. Okay, let's sing it. Bar 97 after two. One, two. sweet little line all sorts of nice crunches going on in the middle of that harmony um, and so you sing this first forever that follows which is a, a, a very beautiful very simple little line so we're coming in now in bar 102 you get this harmony dum 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 with a lovely sweet little smile let's sing forever Okay, this is the upbeat to 103, after two, um, after one. Two, one. Now we can see here in bar 109, we're dropping down to the lower register. As a little, uh, a little pastoral response. Forever. 
So sing that for me, bar 109 and one four. Good, don't forget the smile, forever. Let's let's go back a little bit. Let's have the, the tenors and basses start this little section. So they sing one, he brought, and you breathe, and There we go. So that's the Magnificat. And now we move into the Gloria, which starts in bar 116, 116. The tempo is now andante, so it's a bit steadier. And we have a 3-2 time signature, so a feeling of, of three in the bar. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. And you sing in unison here, at least for a lot of this, Gloria. This is a loud, bright, confident, strong Gloria, okay? Smiles and singing out, uh, nothing quiet about this. At the end of the Nunc Dimittis, it'll be a different case. Okay, three phrases. The first one is one, two. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Okay, so make sure when we're singing these Ds, particularly and to the Son, it's San with a drop jaw, and then and to the a little bit more separated there, uh, leaning in on those chords. And to the Holy Ghost. So let's sing that. Let's go from the beginning of the Gloria. So we get one, two. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. Now, from there, Stanford gives us this chord. So this is a particularly dramatic bit. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll play it and sing it for you from As It Was. It's one, two. As it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be. Okay, really good stuff for sopranos. Be careful at the end that that B is nice and secure, as it was in the beginning. Let's sing that with the piano. One, two. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Great. Now let's sing it with the choir. There's our note. As it was after two. One, two. As it was in the beginning, is So we can hear them. Out with out and okay, so we sing the C, it's one. World without end. Amen. So, world without end, please, sopranos. And then we'll sing the whole thing through. World without end. After one, two, three, one. World without end. Amen. Great. So what we're going to do, Sopranos, after a quick break for a sip of drink is we're going to sing the Magnificat all the way through and then we'll have the Nunc Dimittis, okay? So this is the complete sing-through 
of the Magnificat in G by Stanford, and it's the soprano voice louder. Do enjoy. Here we go. So three bars, two, one, and. Blessed, blessed. Very good. Three bars, two, one, and. Softer here. Deep breath and one. So get ready for the Gloria and one, two. Sopranos. Okay, have a quick sip of drink and we'll move on swiftly to the Nunc Dimittis. And this is another gorgeous piece of music, again, that, that supports a soloist. This time it's a bass soloist rather than a bar uh, rather than the soprano. Um, and uh, it's just very, very gentle. There are a couple of phrases that push out uh, when they're singing about light and glory, but otherwise everything, including the Gloria, is, is much, much softer on this one. And so we can see it's an adagio tempo, slower, and a common time tempo, so it is in four. And so uh, when we come in here in bar eight, you echo the baritone. He sings, Depart, depart in peace. You sing, depart in peace. So you can see it's a little echo of what he's just sung. Let's listen to it from the start and you'll hear what I mean. Here comes the baritone and the organ. Oh, 
Come in. One, two, three. And the S is on the bar line. You hear the alto sing. They come in before you. You then come in here, uh, sopranos, in bar 13. So it's for mine I for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Let's sing it like that and the uh, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation and again for mine eyes have seen thy salvation now a bit slower and for mine eyes uh, Excuse me, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Let's do that one more time. And for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Lovely. Let's have that with the uh, soprano part. Just take it back a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. Make sure I can see it. Okay. Let's go from uh, the baritone solo, two bars in. Very soft. Let's sing that with the piano, please. Sops, this is bar 16. After three, two, three. Which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. So let's sing that with the backing track now from bar 16, one, two, three. Which thou hast Excellent. Now the baritone sings to be a light. Now you hear the chord shifts from this to that. And that is your note here. Now there is a little bit of first and second splits. Okay, so first sopranos will go one, two, two. You can hear the it's all about lifting up towards the light and do notice the crescendo towards light so it really does shine sing that for me please first sopranos after two one two to be a light to a light on the gentles lovely and second sopranos is exactly the same except you don't go up to the g Okay, so second soprano, sing that for me, please. After two, one, two, to be a light, to a light on the gentles. Okay, let's put that together to be a light. In fact, I'll take it back a bit and we'll have a bit of the baritone. Here we go. So listening out for the organ at the top gives you your notes here. Big F minor chord here. It's a very
very Brahmsian line. I've been saying that to everyone as I've been rehearsing this. It really does sound like Brahms. So here in bar 32, it's one, two. And to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Big groan to the glory, and then leaning of thy people, Israel. Let's sing that together from and to be. Let's go back a little bit and run into it. And one, two. And to be the glory of thy people, Israel. The glory of thy people. Lovely harmonies here. saying uh, earlier on this uh, this is the same chord pattern very similar to the lark ascending by Ralph Vaughan Williams of course now here we are in bar 42 and we sing in unison with everyone else very softly we sing one Lord now let us to thou thy servant In peace. Very, very soft. Okay, let's sing that, shall we? Lord, now let us thou after two, one, two. Lord, now let us thou. Two. Lovely. There we go. Now we're into the Gloria, the, the home stretch, as it were. This is a walking pace, but with a, a tranquil sense of movement here. So we have this. Tum, 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 ya, da, da. And we see here this glory be to the Father. It's very much based on the earlier material, but it's not big, it's not loud, it's not uh, desperately uh, in your face. It's, it's much softer, a, a much more appropriate way to wrap up a nunc dimittis. So we start on an A instead of a G, which we did the first time. And here we are in bar 51, and it's one. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. So just listen to these pictures again from bar 51 and one. One, two, three. Okay, glory be to the Father. Let's try that with the accompaniment. Here we go. So. And one. Glory be to the Father. One. And to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Now, uh, we have a, another slightly, um, a bit that reminds you slightly of a fanfare, but it's not played at this point on trumpets, a softer, more of a French horn sound. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Okay, calling out across a valley rather than a big bright trumpet call. So let's sing as it was in the beginning. Here's your notes, and we're in after two. Ready? One, two. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. And 
this most beautiful last world without end. lovely. So it sounds like this in bar 64 and it's to be floated down like leaves wafting down from the trees. It's world without end world without end Isn't that lovely? So starting here with a smile world without end. Ready? One two, three softer and then listen to the organ in the last few bars because it gives you this plays the amen for you and you respond amen and then and then just simply top of the texture. Let's sing it on from there. Amen. And Amen. on the end. And there you have it everyone. That's your teaching for the Nunc Dimittis. And so what we're going to do is as before Go back to the start of this movement and sing it all the way through. Do take an opportunity to have a sip of drink. It's very important to stay hydrated. Okay, so from the beginning of the Nunc Dimittis, this is the soprano sing-through. I really hope you've enjoyed learning it. And here is your full sing-through. Enjoy. Coming in soon, bar seven, deep breath, two, three, deep breath, and uh, solo to be a light. So this is a bigger entry. Listen for the F at the top. Take a deep breath. And one. Big breath. And very good. And everything now to the end is soft and gentle. Deep breath. Show. Sure. 
nice and soft. And there you have it, Sopranos. That is your sing-through of the Nunc Dimittis, and indeed the teaching for the Magnificat Nunc Dimittis in G by Charles Villiers Stanford. I really hope you've enjoyed learning this beautiful piece. I hope your performance goes very, very well indeed. and look forward to seeing you again very soon. So take care, be well, and all the best. Bye. <laughs>